Good morning, Year One, and welcome to our fourth maths lesson for the week. So today you're going to be doing extended addition and subtraction. So you're going to want cubes, counters, counting beads, number squares, rulers, whatever you use for counting on and back, and also for drawing arrays. And you're going to need a whiteboard or a piece of paper to write the answers both to the starter and to the main part of the lesson. And I think you're going to really enjoy the investigation today. It's a bit Year Two e, but you can do that. Okay, so. Here's the starter. Grown-ups, pause the starter, and when you're ready to resume, I'll go through the answers. So, 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Counting on in 10s, 10, 20, 30, plus 2, 32. 10 plus 10, so 10, 20, 27. Right, now on your 100, on your 100 square, or on your ruler, count back 3, and you end up on 27. Now, on 28, you count back 10, that's 18. Count back another 10, that is 8. And now these balancing ones. Can you spot? This adds to 5. So what do you need to add to 2 to get to 5? That's right, it's free, or it mirrors. You may just spot the pattern. OK, 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. We know this now because we investigated that earlier in the week. Plus 2, 17. 10 plus 10 plus 10, so 10, 20, 30, plus 2, 32, plus another 2, 34. And again, 10, 20, 30, plus 7, 37. 40 minus 3, count back 3 on your number square, and it's actually 37 as well. And then 38, count back 10 is 28, count back another 10 is 18. And remember, you can count back 10s just by going up. 3 plus 3 equals... Well, that equals 6. What do you add to need to add to 3 to get to 6? Another 3. And it mirrors. It's quite cool, actually, I think. So the next one is 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is 8. And then you've got to add 25. That's a bit of a difficult one. So I would add the 5 and the 8. So count on 5 from 8, which gives you 13. And then count on 20. 13, 23, 33. OK, so this is pretty much an array, and you're counting on in 30s, so you put out 3 10 bars, 6 10 bars, 9 10 bars, which is 90. And counting on in 20s, 20, 40, 60, and then add seven, add 10, 70, and add another 3, 73. 50 minus 3, again, on your 100 square, count back 3, and it's going to be 47. I bet you can spot the pattern there as well. Then 48 less 10, go up, so that's 38, less another 10 is 28. So this side is 11 plus 3, which is 14. What do you need to add to 11 to get to 14? That's right, it's 3 and it's mirroring. Same applies for the next one, 12. What do you need to add to 9 to get to 12? 3. 150 minus 1, what's 1 less than 50? That's 49. And there's another 100 on it, so it's 149. So... 20 plus 20 plus 20 we know is 60, plus another 20 is 80, plus another 3 is 83. 60 minus 13. Count back 10, so that becomes 50 minus 3. Oh, we've already got that answer, so that's 47. And then counting back in 10s from 58, 48, 38, 28. And then this last really tricky one. You might spot the pattern 9 is 1 more than 8, 3, therefore you need an answer which is 1 more. Or you could do 12 equals something plus 8, which is 4. OK, well done, year 1. Brilliant work. And now, I want you to tell your grown-up some odd numbers. And if you can, tell them what, tell your grown-up what odd numbers end in. So what are the units in all odd numbers? So I can start the video when you're ready. So first odd number is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Then it's 11, 13, 15, 17, 19. Then it's 21, 23, 25, 27 and 29. So, do you think there's a reason I've done it like that? What is every odd number at ending in? 
That's right, they all end in 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. OK, so what now are even numbers? Tell your grown-up and grown-ups start the video again when you've written down some numbers and you've explained what even numbers are. OK, so even numbers start 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, so I'm going to move that 16 because it's not as neat as it was on the first pattern, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and 30. So keeping going. So what do even numbers end in? That's right, they end in zero. Question, and you can use Google or use Alexa to find this out, is zero an even number? And if you can let us know, that would be brilliant. OK, so even numbers are in the two times table. They can be split equally, so you can halve all these numbers. If you can't halve 1, 21, 31, you get a half left over. So what we're going to investigate today is what happens when you add two numbers together. Now, what happens when you add an odd plus an odd, an even plus an even, an even plus an odd, or an odd plus an even? And to find that out, you're going to use this. So I'm just going to model it for one, two different numbers. And you're also going to use a run, random number generator. So what we would do is we would type in 1 as the lower number. We want a range of a random number between 1 and 10. And then you press the enter button and you get a random number. So our first number is 9. So what we're going to do is we're going to put out 9. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Question, is that odd or even? So we write our number down here. Quickly tell your grown-up whether that is odd or even. Brilliant, it's odd. So we write a zero, an O for odd. Now, we're going to look for our second random number. So we press enter again, and this time we've got seven. So we put out seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We write seven here. And we decide whether that's odd or even. We'll have a look at it. Is it odd or even? It's another odd. So we're now saying odd plus odd equals, well, we don't know yet. How do you think we find out what it equals? Brilliant, you, and that's right. What we do is we move all of these onto our third number. So I'm going to start here. Although it doesn't actually matter where you do it, as long as you're systematic and you go down remember grown-ups we need to go down to do the first 10 first and then we carry on so we're doing pairs of tens so if we know that this section here it's a 10. You can almost see it looks like a 10, doesn't it? Then how many have we got all together? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we end up with 16. Now, is 16 odd or even? Look at the pattern. Brilliant. So that's actually all you need to do. I've put a link to that random number generator and I will put a PDF of this grid, but it's not that difficult to draw out anyway. 
And all I want you to do is have a go at investigating them. Many different ways as possible and try to figure out what happens when odd plus odd go, what happens when even plus even goes, what happens when you've got an even and an odd number and what happens when you've got an odd or even. If we look back at this, you can already see we think we've got an odd plus an odd gave us an even. So really you need to get two or three like that and see whether that's always the case. So I'm just going to go back to this video just to remind this page, just to remind you what you're looking for.